With an incredible strength, loud roar, imposing appearance, and unparalleled beauty, tigers are the largest cats in the world, easily recognized by their distinctive coat with the characteristic pattern of dark stripes. You may think that all tigers are the same, but even if it seems impossible to differentiate them, some have characteristics that are different from those of other individuals. There are generally considered to be nine subspecies of tiger, three of which are now extinct. Here are the remaining six subspecies of tiger. Sumatran Tiger The Sumatran Tiger is the smallest subspecies of tiger alive today. Males measure between 7.5 to 8.5 feet in head to body length and can weigh up to 310 pounds, whereas females can measure 7 to 7.5 feet in length and weigh up to 243 pounds. This subspecies only inhabits the warm and wet forests of the Indonesian island of Sumatra and is the only surviving population in the Sunda Islands where the Bali and Javan tigers are extinct. The Sumatran tiger has the darkest fur which is very dark orange in color and the highest density of stripes compared to other tigers. DNA analysis suggests that the Sumatran tiger became isolated from other tiger populations after a rise in sea level that occurred between 12,000 to 6,000 years ago. Due to this, Sumatran tigers evolve differently and have no problem living on their island home. The Sumatran tiger population is in decline mainly because of human activity, like the expansion of palm oil plantations. Malayan Tiger The Malayan tiger is primarily found in the southern and central parts of the Malay Peninsula. However, there is also a small population of Malayan tigers in the southern tip of Thailand. In the Malay language, the Malayan tiger is called Harimau or just Rimau and is the national animal of Malaysia. It is also known as the southern Indochinese tiger to distinguish it from tiger populations in the northern parts of Indochina, which are genetically different to this population. Until 2004, the Malayan tiger was classified as the same species as Indochinese tiger. However, following a genetic analysis, it was determined that the Malayan tiger was its own subspecies and it was dubbed Panthera tigris jacksoni in honor of Peter Jackson, a famed tiger conservationist. Malayan tigers are smaller than Bengal tigers. The average length of a male is 8 feet 6 inch with an average weight of 285 pounds, while the average length of a female is 7 feet 10 inch with an average weight of 195 pounds. They inhabit the tropical forests and are in danger of extinction, with the biggest threat being excessive logging and road construction. They have been listed as critically endangered, with only about 250 to 340 of them remaining in the wild. Indo-Chinese Tiger This cat from Southeast Asia owes its scientific name to a famous hunter who later became a devoted conservationist. Its scientific name Panthera tigris corvetti pays homage to Jim Corvette, a British hunter who took down man-eating tigers and leopards in India. They are native to Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia and southwestern China. However, they are considered extinct in Cambodia and one has not been seen in Vietnam since 1997. Solitary, relatively small and due to its elusive behavior, it is difficult to be observed and studied in the wild, so there is little knowledge about their behavior. The Indo-Chinese tiger's skull is smaller than that of the Bengal tiger, and the ground coloration is darker with more rather short and narrow single stripes. In body size, it is smaller than both Bengal and Siberian tigers. Males range in size from 9 to 9.5 feet long and in weight from 331 to 430 pounds. Females range in size from 7.5 to 8.5 feet and in weight from 220 to 290 pounds. In the 1930s, there were more than 2,000 Indochinese tigers, but open hunting for them as well as destruction of their habitat and poaching has changed all. There are only a few hundreds of them left in the wild today. South China Tiger this subspecies faces a grim future since it's functionally extinct as for more than 25 years nobody has seen a specimen in the wild. 
which makes it the rarest tiger species in the world. In the early 50s, it was estimated that there were about 4,000 wild South China tigers, but those numbers drastically dropped within a few decades. Thousands of South China tigers were killed for being pests, and more died because of habitat degradation. At present, there are only a few individuals in captivity, and breeding programs have been ongoing. The South China tiger is the smallest tiger subspecies from mainland Asia, but bigger than the subspecies from the Sunda Islands such as the Sumatran tiger. Males measure from 7.5 to 8.5 feet long and weigh 287 to 386 pounds. Females are smaller and measure 7.2 to 7.9 feet long and weigh 220 to 254 pounds. The length of the tail does not usually exceed one half of the head and body length and their hair length varies geographically. The skull of the South China tiger is different from all other surviving tiger species. Because of this, the South China tiger is considered to be the original tiger from which all other current tiger subspecies evolved. Siberian Tiger Mainly found in regions of Far East Russia, the Siberian or Amur tiger is the largest of all remaining tiger subspecies, growing as large as 675 pounds and 10.8 feet long. But this only happens for those specimens in captivity. In the wild, the Bengal tiger is bigger. Since it lives in a cold environment, it has a thicker but relatively pale coat with sparse dark brown stripes which enables it to survive in freezing and snowy winters. And although it is primarily found in Russia, it also lives in parts of northeast China and possibly North Korea. In the past, the Siberian tiger's range was much larger and could be found throughout the Korean peninsula, North China and Mongolia in addition to the Russian Far East. Unfortunately, illegal deforestation, poaching and overhunting decimated the wild Siberian tiger population and its number have fluctuated over the years. After Russia became the first country to grant the Siberian tiger full protection, its population has stabilized at more than 500, but less than 600. Bengal Tiger The Royal Bengal Tiger is perhaps the best known subspecies of all tigers. When people think about tigers, they are most likely picturing the Bengal Tiger. They are mostly found in India, but there are some populations in Nepal, Bhutan, and Bangladesh as well. This subspecies has the characteristic orange coat with black stripes, although some individuals are born with a white coat and blue eyes due to a genetic mutation. These are not considered a separate subspecies, but only a genetic variety. The Bengal tiger ranks among the biggest wildcats alive today. Males have an average total length of 9 to 10 feet, including the tail while females measure 7.5 to 9.5 feet on average. The weight of male tigers ranges from 397 to 569 pounds, while that of the females ranges from 220 to 350 pounds. They have two to three times more population than other tiger subspecies, and the reason for this is because they have been captive bred since 1880 and are widely crossbred with other tiger subspecies. While there are more Bengal tigers than the other subspecies combined, Bengal tigers are still endangered animals. Like all tigers, the Bengal tiger population is in decline, primarily facing human threats, especially illegal poaching. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.